group of 30 and sometimes it's a group of a thousand. So I thank everybody for coming out. And you probably heard this all before, but um, you know, the Occupy is not dead. It hasn't gone anywhere. We might have gotten moved off the lawn here, but every single person that had anything to do with that has taken a piece of that with them and has moved to make something out of it. Like we have the Fair Wage Initiative. We have other things going on, like I guess underground, you would say, because we can't be out in the open, obviously, and do it because we get raided by the police. People have been brutalized. People have been going in and out of court. Of course, everything gets dismissed, but it's just a pain in the ass to have to come here and deal with a bunch of um, nonsense. I'll try not to swear. Uh, um, because we believe that we there's more for us, that like we should have rights. We should not be wage slaves. We should not have to live in a contaminated environment. We shouldn't have to watch a, 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 a truck, a log truck with one log go by. That's just not right anymore, or three logs. That time is over. Like, we have to be thinking about into the future and what we're going to do. So I just want to say that Occupy will never die. It's not going to go anywhere. It remains inside of us, and with that, we are doing stuff out in our community. Um, and I wanted to say thank you to everybody that has been doing the Fair Wage Initiative and keeping stuff going on and just being like advocates for people who are uh, experiencing police brutality. I've been away with some family stuff lately and so that's kept me out for a little while. Uh, but it's really inspirational and motivational when you come back and there's everybody has been doing something and there's something that you can do. There's something for you to do because a lot of people say, well, what can I do? Well, now there's several things you can do. You can collect signatures. You can speak at the Board of Supervisors meeting. You could go to the City Council meeting. Your voice is important. Even though it's only three minutes, that three minutes, sometimes you can change a heart in that three minutes and change a mind in that three minutes and put information out into the community in that three minutes. That's really important. Tomorrow is the Board of Supervisors meeting here. I believe the speaking starts at 1.30, so get your thoughts together, come out, let's occupy the Board of Supervisors meeting with meaningful thoughts that we can put into words so that maybe we can change something or get something done or just put the word out into the community, this is what's going on that needs to change. Uh, and I would, my personal opinion right now is that the Eureka City Council has made laws about sleeping and drinking in public. Okay. Sleeping in public is not a crime in my book. If you don't have a place to sleep, where are you supposed to sleep? That is totally, I mean, if we're going to get down to it, that is a crime against humanity to arrest people and put them in jail for sleeping in public. I think that is terrible. And the Board of Supervisors needs to know that and the Eureka City Council needs to know that. I don't even live in Eureka. I live far away. But I'm willing to come here and speak that meeting because I think that is really harsh. There's people that come here for social services and then they don't even have a place to sleep at night and then they go end up in jail. That ain't right in my opinion. So one little small thing at a time, it just builds as many people. If you have something that you feel strong about, do something about it, talk about it, get something done about it. That's how we're going to occupy. We're going to occupy the court system by being there, being present, being vocal, occupy the sea, everything. So we have to occupy everything. That's what it's all about. Getting a movement going. And we don't have to camp out on the lawn, even though that was pretty nice. I enjoyed that very much. I think it made a big statement, but we do have to occupy space in these places and start speaking out about stuff more and more and more and more people. So this is good. This is way more people than than, it, you know, I was hoping for more, but this is good for me. This is good, so thank you. All right.